Okay, now we're gonna focus on the overarm throw. So we've got a few things which are similar with our grip. So two or three fingers and our thumb on the bottom of the ball. And also with our feet, we need to have our back foot pointed at uh, right angle. Then step with the opposite foot. So what's different is our arms. First of all, we need to have our front arm, which is our arm we're not going to throw. We need to point that out. We need to point that out to where we're going to throw. We need to have it, make sure it's pretty flat as well. Point it up in the air, you're going to throw it really high in the air, and if you point it down, you're going to throw it pretty well straight to the ground. So you point it pretty flat or just a little bit above horizontal. So now what we need to do then is bring our arms back, or bring our throwing arm back, and to bring it back here. This is called the power position. So you get more power doing it like this instead of throwing it from here or even there. You feel it's really comfortable. Then when you're ready, step with the opposite foot. Bring your arm through, throw the ball, and then your back foot comes over as well in the direction of where you want to throw the ball. So what I'll do now is pass it on to the students to demonstrate an overarm throw. Okay, well done to those students who are practicing the right technique. So now for a more advanced technique, if you want to throw the ball further, what you can now do is you can just do a couple of side gulps towards your target, and then you can wind back and throw the ball, and make sure you follow through as well, like I'll show you before with that technique. Now we hit the students again to demonstrate the stepping and the galloping to throw the ball further. In the catching video make sure you're practicing those skills and the right technique every day and happy throwing <laughs>